it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. You know what this is. It's been a little while, hasn't it? This is a Goodwill Blue Box. I got it, oh gosh, I can't even tell you when I got it. I have a whole stash full, and I just haven't opened them in a while. I kind of veered away and been doing some thrifting and branching out. But I thought today, let's take it back and open up a Goodwill Blue Box, shall we? Let me zoom out the teens so you can see. Oh no, behind the scenes. <laughs> All right, let's unbox this. Again, when I was getting them, they were third. Uh, they were thirty-five for a while, and then they were they were thirty, and they were thirty-five. There it goes. Um, and I, I I hear that they are more now, but I haven't bought one in a while because I have a backlog of them. But they're always good fun to do. Uh, you have to get on. They go live five central on GoodwillBlueBox.com. And you pretty much have to be ready right away because they sell out super fast, or they did when I was doing this uh, regularly. They sell out really, really fast. And my tip to you is only spend money that you've got. Uh, there's a chance you could find something really cool. There's a chance that it's just junk. Uh, usually I'm able to make my money back, but just so you know, it's for fun mostly. Try to view it like as a treasure hunt, a mystery box, see? All right, I like to do first impressions, so I am gonna zoom in. Let's take a peek. I think it's about five pounds of stuff. First impressions, not bad, uh, because this right off the bat, that's a multi-metal, like mixed metal bracelet. That's pretty awesome, so I'm excited about that. What else have we, oh, feathers, no. I don't like the feathers, they are disgusting. All right, some fun stuff here, okay. There's a ring right off the top. All right, let's dive in. That's pretty cool. That looks like it could be gold, actually. No, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, here we go. Let's start diving in. There we go. I don't know what happened with the color. It was weird. All right, so first I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom. So firsty first, we've got this bracelet. Again, mixed metal tends to sell well for me probably gonna put about 20 bucks on that so that's a nice chunk right back towards making my money back that's for sure a keeper that is looks like maybe it was a pendant or a part of an earring perhaps i'm not sure yet so i'm gonna put that to the side oh what have we got do we have a mini detangle i don't know yet let's see Okay, I'm going to be setting earrings off to the side. This one looks pretty cool. It's got a maker's mark. I'm going to set it to the side. We'll come back to this one. Uh, let's see. So I've got a little ring here. This is just like an adjustable like kid ring. So I make uh, just mystery lots where I put things that I won't sell. Sometimes they're sellable. Sometimes they're not. So I like uh, to do that. Oh, this is nice. Now, I love jewelry with safety clasps. And this has... A safety clasp which I love and then this part let's see how do we get this out here ooh la la are we looking at gold already shoot let's see magnetic no you're kidding right off the bat where's my loop where's my I don't have a loop song do I no I don't remember having a loop song I've got my mandrel song and I've got a magnet song let's see. So on that one, it says 417M. I'm gonna zoom in and see if you can see it. 417M on that, I don't know what that means. Let's look, I'm gonna keep looking for another stamp maybe over on the barrel, on the box part of the clasp. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm looking at a site. Oh, where's my computer? It's called Silver Recyclers. And it says on 417, because I've never encountered this, what is 417 gold? Uh, gold jewelry doesn't feature a set amount of gold, so it's 41.7% gold. That's interesting. I have never, okay, so 417 gold and 10 karat gold are the same. All right, nice. So we do have gold here. So basically 10 karat gold is what that site says. I'll do a little more digging but hey straight off the bat y'all okay win that's a win all right i'm gonna take any solo earrings so far and i'm just making a pile to the side 
let's see here we have a, a chip it's basically you know gemstone chip necklace this one is it's okay um, I, it's got a little knot in it. I'll have to untangle it. That's probably one that I could sell. I'll have to do a little research. I haven't sold these in a while. Normally they end up going to my sister, but I'm going to look this one up and see what I think I could get for it. Let's see. Is this an earring? Oh, that's a fun. Oh, that's not the same earring. But anyway, all right. Those get to come to the side. Earrings, earrings over here. Uh, more earrings. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. All right, well, this is kind of fun. So here we've got this big enamel flower. It's not missing any stones. The enamel work is pretty nice on it. Then it's got these plastic turquoise colored beads, but I think somebody would really like that. It's a nice shape. So that's something I'll probably, my go-to if I don't know, if I'm just like, oh, it's probably just like a costume piece, probably looking at I don't know, $17. Usually that's my starting around point for a lot of things. So it could go up from there. But just like if I was just going to turn and list this without looking it up, I'd probably put it around $17. So yeah. Then this one will likely just go into a, a lot. Again, it's probably syllable, but it's kind of like, oh, um, oh wait, is it a 1928? Or 1924 or whatever that brand is I always get it mixed up with the numbers I think it is a 1928 well that changes it a little bit because it is a 1928 people look for that brand so I'll probably look this one up because like I say that's a brand that people look for they tend to like the style even though this it could be the same from Claire's but if it says 1928 somebody might want that over the other cool Chevron bracelet it's kind of like a salmon color this one I'll see if there's any more in there I could stack with it I, I've sold these though solo and that's an earring this will do they sell this is one of those times when I'm like I should probably look this up they've got I think those are tiger's eye yeah those are little tiger's eye chips yeah that might sell and then that's just a piece of mother of pearl like for the button for that, that actually might sell. Uh, yeah, so I'm probably gonna put, again, $15, $17 is my go-to, probably my cheapest for that. All right, not too bad so far. This looks like it is a bracelet that's missing the chain. It says the Lord is my strength and, uh, and my shield. So that will probably, be, because it's broken, it'll go to a lot. Check this out. Ooh, very serpentine, isn't it? So this is a really cool, the uh, green scales are kind of translucent. Ooh, the, the stretch on that elastic is a little bit brittle. Like I can feel it's not wanting to, like it'll pop if I, if I pull it too hard, I feel like. I will make sure to disclose that when I list this because this is just awesome. It reminds me of like a dragon, right? Dragon scales or a snake. It's very cool. No maker's marks. And again, I don't normally fix things. If I did, this would be one of them. But I'll uh, disclose that the elastic is a little bit, I mean, it's still springy a little bit, but it might need to be repaired pretty soon. Okie dokie, let's see what I've got here. I pulled out all of the, oh, bonus hair. I pulled out all of the solo earrings and let's see what we've got left. Uh, there's this really cool swirly twirly faceted plastic ring. It is adjustable. I I will probably sell this. One, it's a big blingy like showy ring. Some people like the adjustable nest, you know, in case their fingers are swelling or you know they need to pull it off more easily. So some people really like having adjustable rings. They don't always sell for as much as others, but that's okay. I'll take it. That's pretty cool. Then this little ring has got some whoop, some missing stones, so that will go to a craft lot. This ring, the finish is worn off, so that will go to a craft lot. And this bracelet, it is a bangle. Uh, I don't see any more in the box like it, so that will go to a lot. This one, let's see what we've got. What does this say? I have learned. Oh, it says Panama Jack. Does Panama Jack jewelry sell? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. 
I have learned I need to look things up. <laughs> I start going off my gut a little too often and then later I'm like, why did I do that? This is interesting. It's like this jelly band. But yeah, this is gonna go to a lot. Same thing with these, they're tangled up and neither of them are worth m me really diving into fixing it and detangling it. So that goes to a lot. Then there's this chain. It's probably silver tone, yeah, silver tone chain. I might just hang on to it. I might, I might actually put it with this, depending on what this necklace or pendant is made from. But look, it's this resin pendant, right? I don't see any 925s on it. It is tarnished, so there's a chance. Maybe it's, oh yeah, it's in there. So this is 925. It's in marked inside there. But look, there's like teeny little shells, and even the little oyster one has a tiny pearl in it. Isn't that cool? So this is one I need to get a silver chain for, and that I for sure will sell. Somebody will love that. <gasps> Look how tiny those shells are. They're so sweet. This chain then I will just save for a pendant that I find that isn't sterling silver but could still use a chain. What is with the bonus hair? This is like way more bonus here than I would like to see. I'm just gonna put that right out there. It's disgusting. Oh my gosh, more, go away. Okay, pulling aside. All right, we've got this ring, it's missing stones. That goes to a lot. This one, it's actually kind of nice. These are glass. Yeah, those are not plastic. So I might try to sell this. Oh yeah, and those are stones there. Let's take a peek at those. What have we got? What have we got there? Huh. What do you think? Hang on. They're kind of black in the base of them. And then they have kind of like the rusty iron. Do you think? I don't know that they're Jasper, but they might be. I'll have to do a little figuring out on those. But yeah, this one I'll sell. If it was just plastic, the beads, I would probably just put it in a lot. But yeah, they're they're cold to the touch. So, and they're, you know, it's got a nice weight to it, nice sound to it. So yeah, that's one I will sell. Then these will go, that's going to a lot. This one's really bent up, big time. So yeah, those are going to a lot. This is a pretty cool bracelet. It has that kind of Egyptian look to it, boho. That's all peeled out. Stones are missing. It would take too much for me to repair that with that broken piece there. There might be the stones at the bottom. We'll see. I'm setting aside earrings and stuff. We'll look through those in just a sec. That's really cool though. I love that. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is a heartbreaking. <gasps> Just take a deep breath, Margaret. It's gonna be okay. This bracelet is not a bracelet anymore. It is broken. I don't know if the other half of it's in there, but it's got this beautiful piece of turquoise. It's got this leafy fan. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna see if the other half of it's in there. I'll set this to the side. I can't fix this. I don't. I don't know how to solder like sterling silver like that but it's just too beautiful. Could you imagine? I mean, if it were whole, I could get at least 80 bucks for it. 60 to 80, 80 I think, yeah. Then we've got this bracelet. Probably gonna just put that in a lot. It's okay. Earrings. All right, so I got through going through all this stuff. These two, it's a necklace and a bracelet. They're really tangled up together. So I'm just gonna put both of them into a craft lot. A couple more just little kid rings that are adjustable. They'll go to the craft lot. This bracelet, this, you know, it's kind of sprung a little bit, but there's good pieces. Somebody might be able to take it apart and use it for something else. That's going to the craft lot. This necklace, also craft lot. Again, you know, some of the things I put in craft lots are sellable pieces, but I just don't think I'll have the time to do it. 
This is a pretty cool necklace. This is a guess heart necklace. So it's got all these little heart charms. This is one that I'll probably try to sell. It's pretty cute. I think someone would like it. Let's see, this looks like an anklet maybe. It's, yeah, I'll probably, again, just put it into a craft lot. This one looks vintage. Let me zoom in on that. It's a pendant. It definitely looks vintage. I couldn't find, let me show you the back. I couldn't find any maker's marks on it or any stamps. So I'm gonna probably look it over one more time. It is not magnetic. So it's something that might go into my testing pile uh, because like I say, it's it just looks old. It might just be plated and that's fine. Oops, I, I'm zoomed in so far I don't realize I'm out of screen. Um, but it's pretty cool looking so I'm gonna hang on to that and test it. Maybe I can find a little chain to put that on. It's cute. This necklace I love. I'm gonna have to zoom out. I feel like I got another necklace like this that I was gonna keep and I don't know where I put it. Probably in a place so I wouldn't lose it. But I love the chain. I love the uh, embellishment on the chain. It's very cool and it's one that's you know it's gonna hang right at the collar which I think is very chic. Très chic my loves. So this is one that's probably gonna be a catch and release. Sometimes I get things and I think I'm gonna like it and I'm gonna try to wear it and then when I wear it a couple times I'm like eh, it's not really me and then I sell it. Next is this sweet necklace. It's got these nice green let's see what do we think they are. They're stone. I, the green, some of the green ones I really have to look up. Serpentine, maybe? Aventurine? No, Aventurine's darker. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to look up the stone to make sure I get them right. But it is on a sterling silver chain, so this is one I can for sure sell. It's really pretty. I like that a lot. And no, I won't uh, polish that tarnish off because some people really like the look, that tarnished look. So I'll leave it. Then we've got this ring. It is signed. Can I wear it? This is way bigger than what I would wear. It's really heavy. It it does have a maker's mark. Oh, it's a KC inside. So that would be Kenneth Cole. Yeah, I'll probably sell this one. I mean, there's a little bit of finish rubbed from it, but not a ton. So overall, I think it's going to be okay. Okay, Whew. got all those separated out. Let's see what we've got here. This, it looks like a little owl mood ring. I actually might see if one of my kids wants that because they're always interested in mood rings. So look how quickly it's changing. I must be a hot, y'all, woo. Okay, wow, it's really going. I don't know how to decipher this, but apparently the warmth from my fingers. Well, it's going back. What does it mean when it makes a full 360? Uh. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, that's fun. Uh, this is another little just adjustable ring. And then this one is not... It looks like somebody... Let me zoom it in. It looks like somebody took their cavity and like their filling and decided to make it into a ring. Like, I can't wear these amalgams anymore. I'm getting it refilled with porcelain, but I want to keep it. I'm going to make it into a ring and it'll just be my amalgam cavity forever in my ring uh anybody thoughts on that because it doesn't even have like it's not like that druzy like sparkly stuff so I don't even know what's going on with that okay it's my cavity that's what it is okay <laughs> next Ooh, zoom back out that's pretty I love that green I love it chartreuse that's really pretty and normally you don't see just two Usually there's more, but then it's got these cool chains along the edges. I'll sell that. That's cool. But I'll wear it. Look how pretty. I love it. I love it. Uh, we've got a kind of hammered pendant here. That's will go to a lot. And this is pretty. Normally.
normally this style I put right into a lot, but I kind of like the color on that. So this is one I might try to sell, maybe. I just like that one. I'm gonna take it off, because I like it. That by itself would be really pretty. I like it. Then we've got this, I'm guessing it was a pendant like you would wrap the rope around this part to hold it up. That will go to a lot. All right, we've got a hinged like clamper. Bracelets, no maker's marks. I'm probably, this is, I mean, I like this. Maybe stainless steel. I'm gonna set it to the side for now. Is that tarnished or, cause, I don't know. There's no marks on it. I don't think it's silver, no. Okay, I'm gonna put that into a lot. Then this one, also gonna just put into a lot. It might be silver. No, okay, that'll go to a lot. We're gonna have fun with earrings in a little bit. I'm gonna have a lot to match up. See what we can do. Let's see what we've got here. We've got this little pendant that's got kind of this cat's eye. Is it? See, that would be a cute one to put on that silver tone chain that I had. Oh, let me zoom in. Because it's got this nice kind of purpley gray silver look to it with that cat's eye. So I can put those two together and sell that. Then, or this, actually, I might do this one even better. I like that one even more. Sorry, pendant, you might not get to have this chain. I'm gonna have to find another one for you. Cause look at this one, it's got the moon, and then it's got the tree of life, all swirly whirly. That one could use the pen, the chain as well. Yeah, so those are cool. That might get put together. Ah. Uh, this stretch bracelet, that will probably go straight to a lot. Let's take a look at this ring. It's got, how do you do this? Well, that won't work. I just feel very confined. I don't like it. <laughs> but I guess it could look chic for somebody. I don't know. I'll probably sell it. It's something I haven't really seen before. That's cool. Looks like all the little stones are there. I don't have my mandrel hand here. I would tell you what size it is. I better do it. I better find it. Mandrel, mandrel, who's got the mandrel? If you got the mandrel, then you are it. Oh boy, where is it? Found it. I was using it, taking pictures the other day. So that one is a size, I don't know, six and three quarters, not quite a seven. And then the other side, about the same, six and three quarters, or six and a half. That's, well, that was weird. Then it jumped. All right, I guess it would, depends on which way you put your finger in. <laughs> All right, cool. Then we've got these bangles. These will just go to a lot. That's going to a lot. Um, this one I'll probably put in a bag like I'm starting a, a glass beads and stones, gemstone lot. So that'll probably go to that lot. Here, looks like just a Claire's bracelet, little Claire's style charm bracelet. I love grandma, number one, blah, blah, blah. And then we've got this little bracelet. And this one, hmm, I don't know. Oh, it's not even a bracelet. It's one of those watch bands, you know, you would hook it on. Okay. One some more. All right, let's sort this out. What have we got? What have we got? All 
All right, let's see what we've got here. I pulled out all the earrings so I can go through the rest of this stuff with you. I've got this really cool, oops, zoom it in a little bit. I've got this cool pendant. It's kind of, you know, modern looking. I'd have to find a gold tone chain for it. So it might end up just going to a lot. This ring, which is kind of interesting. Got this purpley enamel flower. It is also adjustable. I, I might sell it. I, I haven't decided. It might go to a lot. We'll see. I feel like this goes to something else, but I really like that rose. That's really pretty. Like it used to be, maybe it is just supposed to hang that way. I don't know. I'm going to look into that a little bit closer because it's, I'm intrigued. It is magnetic, so I don't know. We'll see. Then we've got this little purse keychain thing. It's got an elephant. Maybe it's Lucky Brand. I'm not sure. There's a bee. There is a little four-leaf clover. I like it. I'm going to probably try to sell that. That's sweet. Uh, this bracelet will go to a lot. Same with this one and this one and probably this one too. That one's got a maker's mark, so I better check it out. Fornash? I don't know that brand. Fornash? Let's look it up. Eh. Fornash bracelet. Oh, that one. 25 bucks. I don't know about some of these. Fornash. That oh, might be worth it. 25 bucks. Yeah, maybe I'll look into selling it. We'll see. I'll set it to the side. Uh, that will go to a lot. This pendant also going to a lot. Again, some of these are sellable items, but I just won't. Hold the phones. What is this? Okay, so we've got this like three-dimensional Christmas tree. And then, what is that? I'm trying to make out what the logo is. John Hardy. All right, so this is a John Hardy Christmas tree bonus hair brooch. So I will sell that as well. We've got a spooky spider ring. I love it. Oh my gosh. Uh, does it fit me? Please say yes. No. Maybe on the other side. Ah. Uh, okay, it's small. I love it though. Another adjustable ring. Got a couple more of those. Those will go just to a lot. This is a sweet little ring. It's got this oxidized like black metal and then the the blue stones. I'll probably try to sell that. Oh wait, that's missing a stone. Okay, nope, that's gonna go to a lot. That will go to a lot. It looks like a lot of stuff here going to a lot. That's going to a lot. This ring is fun. This is one I'll, I'll try to sell. It is adjustable, but it's so fun and funky uh, that, that I think it'd be a good seller. So, gonna sell that. Is this another one of those Kenneth Cole rings or is it just a look-alike? No maker's mark on this one, but this one you can see the finish is really worn off. Now let's take a look at this beauty because off the bat, it looks like a piece of amber. However, it is not. Yeah, this is trying to look like a piece of say like egg yolk amber. It's peeling or something there and then it's got this cool like frosted glass look to it and then on the edge something is I guess it's peeled or yeah and then this part is kind of peeling up at the bottom this piece is kind of peeling pulling up I love that frosted glass look though this is a really pretty pendant I bet when it was first out I would I would have been like oh my gosh it's gorgeous but it's it's seen a, a good bit of life I bet somebody could make it work. Then, look at this ring. This is a nice little abstract. We've got gold look here, and this little ball thing, and this little whatever that is, and there is a mark inside. Let me see what it is. This is Polly. All right, uh, it's small. Mandrel, mandrel, who's got the mandrel? If you've got the mandrel, then you are it. It's about a size five and a half. I'm guessing that's what the, I didn't do the spider. Here's the spider. Spider's about a five and three quarters, almost a six. Cool. 
Okay, then we've got this bracelet that it's pretty cool, but it, the spring is sprung. Yeah, the stretch is not good with this one. Somebody could totally put this back together and sell it though. I bet it would do well. Then we've got this little ring that's got, it's like that kind of like diamond chip look, but it's just not diamond chip, it's something else. But it's pretty, it's cute. I don't know, probably going to a lot. Some beads, look at this ring, wow. So it's got this green stone surrounded by other green and blue stones. It has no maker's marks that I can see. Let me double check inside. No, no maker's marks, not magnetic. Yep, no marks, but it's really cool, so I will sell it. It's a six and a half. Look at this one. This one's right at my alley. So this one's got a really cool Art Deco look. It does say China inside, so. But it's definitely really pretty. I love it. It is not magnetic. Oh, it is magnetic. <laughs> I thought I checked it already. Uh, but I'll still sell it. I think it's really cool. I still think someone will buy it. Let's finish emptying it and then we'll go through earrings, shall we? Whoa, beads, beads galore. All right, let me go through these and pull out all the earrings and we'll see what else is there. All right, first up we've got this bangle. Looks like it's maybe dark green. That'll probably go to a lot. I might look at it closer. Yeah, probably going to put that into a lot. This one will go into the glass and stone lot. Got a cute little locket here. Nobody's home. That will likely just go to a lot as well. Let's see if this ring has any marks. Yeah, that's going to a lot. This one's pretty cool. It's like a brass ring, that'll sell. And this, I don't know if this is missing, no, it's not missing something. Yeah, I'll sell that. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'll have to figure out how to <laughs> describe that. It's kind of got this gold tone, twisty cord down parts of it. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bustier, <laughs> sort of. And it is a size, let's see, about a size six and a half, six and three quarters. And this one has kind of a Southwest stamped look to it. So this one is a size a little over a seven, seven and a quarter. Uh, any makers marks? I don't see any maker's marks inside, but I can sell that. Same thing on this one. This one is not the cavity. This one is like that druzy look. However, the wear is rubbed off on the back, so I'll probably just put that in a lot. This is gorgeous. I love it. This thin shell heart. Uh, that's one I'll probably sell. Just got to get a chain for it. No prob. This is a nice little silver ring. I keep having to zoom out and in. Sorry, y'all. Looks like it's probably a garnet in there set in sterling silver. That's nice. It is a size six and a quarter. Very pretty. And then there's this H ring. I guess uh, if your initial is H, that would work for you. All right, so I'll sell that. I've never seen one like this. This is a locket, but it's a ring, a little adjustable locket ring. Anybody home? Nobody's home. Close it up. Oh, I'll sell that. I can re reshape it easily with my mandrel. You know, you just work it on there and push it around until you get it back in shape. Isn't that cute? This one, it looks like a little acorn and it's 
plastic, you know, to look kind of like amber. I'm trying to see if it's scuffed up or if it's okay. It's probably okay. Yeah, I can put it, put that on a chain. I think somebody would really like that. That's cute. And then we've got this pendant. It looks like a peridot or something meant to look like a peridot. Really pretty. That might sell. I might just sell the pendant as is because I'd have to look for a thicker chain. I might have one. I'll just have to look for it. This looks like almost like a little dog tag with the bling, but that will just go to a lot. And I was holding off on this one. Look, feast your eyes, friends. <gasps> oh, deep breaths. We have got a nice piece of labradorite and an amethyst up top. It is hinged. Oh, it's a beauty. I love Labradorite, so I might have a hard time selling this. I have a huge Labradorite ring, which I'm not wearing today, but oh, and it can, it can be very expensive. And this is actually a really nice piece. You can see it's got a lot of the blue, a lot of the green, a lot of the shimmer. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. All right, that's a catch and release too, sorry. All right, I'm gonna go sort earrings. All right, I have gone through a lot of the earrings. Some, there are a lot of mates there, but there's a lot that I probably wouldn't keep to sell. So that I will just share with you the ones that I will. Uh, and again, it's a huge pile of some really great solo earrings. And then a lot of, there are, there are mates, but like say screwbacks or clip-ons or ones I probably wouldn't sell. These are clip-ons. They are Aurora Borealis. They've got that iridescence. So those are ones I really liked that I thought I could flip. Uh, these are actually ones I'm gonna put in the other lot, rather. Um, these are pretty cute, but again, I don't know that I'll sell them. I might, well, I'll see. These I, uh-oh, I've got something caught in there. We got another earring caught in there. Uh, I'll disentangle it in just a minute. But these are pretty cool, like almost chainmail looking, and they've got these little discs. So those I for sure will sell. Somebody might like those for cosplay. I'll get that little one out of there. Uh, then I've got these cream colored uh, sea stars that I will sell. Those are fun. Same with these. These have a, an antiqued look to them with the gunmetal or the black finish. I think it's more black than gunmetal. And then with the green stones, those are pretty, pretty awesome. I'll sell those. And then these I kind of like for myself. I don't know if they're, I wear big earrings, so like they might actually look good. I might try those out for me, maybe. Uh, and then these I liked as well. I like the enamel work. It looks like there might be a stone missing. So those are gonna go to my lot. And then these green, those are just plastic, but I really liked the color on those green discs. So those will go, I'm gonna sell those. And then these nice like leaf kind of filigree open work earrings, they're super lightweight. I think I can sell those as well. They're really pretty. I don't know, I might like them. I'm gonna try them on. Uh, here are another pair of really cool vintage earrings. These are pierced and they've got these nice big blingy rhinestones. Pink, kind of like champagne, pink champagne y'all. Uh, <laughs> bonus hairs. Then I've got these mixed metal earrings. I will sell those as well. These I, I don't personally like, but I think they're interesting and somebody might like them. They're kind of modern looking with this enamel. So, oh, there's a mark on those. Let's see what they are. Oh, those are Trifari. So yeah, I'll sell those. <laughs> Trifari, okay. Then these, I can't decide. It looks like the finish is, is not even like it's been rubbed off on one of them. So those will go to a lot. These I, I need to look at the maker's mark on them because those were ones that I saw and I was gonna put them in my pile, my lot pile. Those are Napier, so I'll probably try to sell the Napier ones. Cool. And then these, I liked those a lot as well. I just like that style um, where it's got that like pressed metal embossed or repoussé or however they do it, depending on the metal. Uh, here are another pair of earrings. It looks like they've got kind of leather set in. One, oh no, they're both marked. Let's see what that is. It's a HH. I'm gonna have to look that up. What is that? What is that? I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. Holler it out at me in the, in the comments. HH, what is it? What is it? 
We've got some sterling little hoops. These will probably just go in my scrap bag for silver. And then these are really cool, like hammered earrings. And they're, they hook on like so. Those are fun. I'll sell those. And then these, they look like, like a Spanish window, right? Like the frame. It's very cool. Those will also sell those. Uh, I just realized it's missing a piece off of that. These also are pretty cool. I liked those a lot as well, so those I will sell. Again, you don't have to like it to sell it, Margaret. Come on, you know better. These match that that pendant. So I might just throw those together. Um, you know, mo mostly for the earrings because I'm not going to find a cord probably. I might have one. Maybe I'll whip it together and do that. I'm on the fence about selling these. I probably will. It's one of those, that, yeah, somebody will like them. That's cool. Somebody might like those. These are J. Crew. Uh, people like J. Crew earrings or J. Crew jewelry as well. So I'll sell those. And then we've got some little glass. Sorry if I'm going fast. Little glass ones that they're kind of sweet. So either I'll sell them or put them in my lot with the other glass earring or glass jewelry. Then these appear to be copper and turquoise. So I just have to put some backs on them, but they're really cute. I'll definitely sell those. And I had some that I was like, oh, I'm such a bummer that they that the mate wasn't there. You know, this one that looks like a fan, like this Asian fan. I'm so bummed that the mate isn't there. And then this one I really liked. I would have worn that. I mean, I still could. Now, I'll probably just set these all to the side because I do have more blue boxes. And the, the mates could be in another box that I have. Because frequently that, that has happened in the past where they just turn up and then, boof, there they are. So, that's, uh, that's that. All right, let's make a thumbnail. It's been a while. Let's make a thumbnail. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go down there, leave me a comment, let me know that you came to hang out, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone!